Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Deck, where we are going to play some heavy missions today. I'm really here for the challenge, so let's see if we can get there. We have only three days until everything is up and running again. Something fell off the truck. Wait. Uh, ammunition logistics and so on and so on. Uh, want to come down while we open the crates? Wait, what's going on? No lasting consequences? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh wait! There is a cache. There is an actual cache attached to it. Holy crap. All right, it's a bit of ammo. It's fine. We get some LB20, uh, Ultra 2, and SRM Inferno ammo. Interesting. Interesting. Let's look. Oh, these, these are uh, the stability ones. All right. So, that being said, um, I probably need to wait for another, another month, right? We have the money, let me quickly check one thing. Is there a good mission here that I want to try to force, or do we just wait and hope that we can play for Marek a little bit more? So far, we only have the pirates and the government, and I think all of these guys are... Huh? Recovery in the lowlands? That's the government against the pirates, that's possible. It's only two and a half skull, though. I think I should punch higher. I think I really should punch higher already. So, this would be a good one here. But it's Pirates versus the Marix, and I want to get that reputation. So I think, you know what, we're gonna wait for another month. The question is, do we change our builds a little bit? Right now, we have the, the Wacker Colony here, <laughs> with the Shadow Cat. Um, and we have this beautiful, beautiful Kintaro. And I was thinking, can I put more missiles on this guy? Like, make these SRM6s, or these yeah, SRM4s and SRM2s, SRM6s. We have some of them. Mike, there's like a full missile boat. We haven't been giving this guy a lot of love recently. That's the thing. A large pulse is fine. It's running an XL. No structure, no armor upgrade. All right, I think I think it is time. Make it full SRM6. Uh, it's a pirate. I know. I know, I know, I know. But I think it's gonna be fine. The Narc Beacon is still in the center. That's good. We even have a, a slot open there in the face. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so SRM. We need we need more ammo. We definitely need more ammo. I'm also thinking about giving this guy a bit of jump capabilities. Um, but let's upgrade. Upgrade. Where is it? Uh, structure. Clan Endo. Oh, and Clan Pharaoh is what we got. Oh, interesting. We could almost leave it there. No, but let's go with the with the ammo and the jump capacity. If we have a bigger core, I would totally put that in the mech as well. We're saving so much weight with that endo steel. Maybe we just don't even get the Pharaoh in there for slot reasons. So we have one bin of Inferno, one bin of Acid, half a ton of regular and another regular ton. This could already be fine. Oh, dead fire? Sure. Mag pulse? Yes. Oh. And I think we're good. I think we are absolutely fine. Then there's one more thing that I wanted to try for, for a while. Can I put the taser rifle into this mech? It's a little heavy. And that's because of optics? No. Oh, the bolt-on rockets. Huh? We got TSM? Hold up. Hold up. Is TSM here? We have industrial TSM even. So carry capacity is not one of our problems. And we can totally hold the taser in the right arm. Yes, while also shooting our SRMs from the left arm, correct? I think that's it. Alright, make make the Kintaro better. That's the plan for today. Uh, I think I want to keep the Narc. It's really good for missile weapons, correct? Uh, hold up. Da -da 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 -da. Plus to bonus accuracy against targets with missiles. Doesn't stay. Yeah, I mean, this is a Narc first, missile later thing. Absolutely. Got a bit of peel and stick. I could add a turret mount even. Oh, I think this guy's gotta get good. Peel and stick on the arm. And now it's time for some uh, jump capabilities. We don't have a jump booster, sadly. But we have five slots and only three improved jump jets. I think this is okay, guys. Let's go ahead and put these in there so that our Kintaro can fly. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Looking good. Uh, looking uh, all right, I'd say. Do I not use peel and stick? That's the question here. It's only 0 0.1 ton. No, it's actually good. It's good to have. I want the back armor and the leg armor upgraded as well, but hey. I think this is it then. Oh wait, it's not quite there. 
Uh, we are currently running an SLDF fire control system so that we have night vision. But this one gives us night vision and plus one gunnery. Hell yeah. Cockpit and sensors with searchlight. Improved sensor gives us two to sensor detection. This gives us plus one to sensor detection, but reveals targets better. I think the searchlight is fine here. Uh, let's take a look at the cockpit. Com suite. Plus one tactics. Uh, I think it's the best we got. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to use the view master. No, thank you. No, the plus one tactics is fine. All right. Looking good. We got something going here. I like what I see. So, make the Kentaro good. Let's see how this is going to go. Shadow Cat is... It's fine as it is. I don't think we need to take a look at that. The the Wacker X6 could need an upgrade. Definitely needs an upgrade. It's not running any XL engine shenanigans. We could, by the way. We now have one. But <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it will it'll cost us an arm and a leg to actually get something going here. I do like the radical heatsink kit though. It would allow us to put another MRM in the mech easily. Now we have two of them. And then some heat sinking. I can see that. I can totally see this guy being good with this. But again, it's too much money right now. It's too much investment. I'd rather stick to the four uh, Wackers here. Oh, sorry, the two Wackers here with the Shadow Cat and the Kentaro. Which also means that we will wait for another financial report coming around the corner. We are still sitting at 1.3 million C bills. And I want to take a look at the store now because um, if possible, I don't want to run the. The SRM uh, Pirate, because they have recoil. Nothing too interesting here. No. No, 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 no. All right. Okay. We're going to wait six days. Uh, we probably also want to wait for Vishlav to arrive again, right? There we go. Two more days. It's worth it. Let's go. Quick check on the barracks, because I wanted to be as prepared as prepared can be. You have a lot of experience all of a sudden. Didn't take a look at you for a while, huh? Yeah, six tactics and gunnery is fine. And now I want to push towards the sensor lock ability. Belfagor, no. Lefay. Oh, I want sensor lock so bad. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. I think we are getting into territory where this is absolutely needed and mandatory. You get some guts here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and then there's Yuki Onna getting the sixth... Point in gunnery. I love it. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Into the command center. Come on. Give me a good mission that is high tier for Marek. Ooh. What the hell? One out of seven? It's a job. It says job. It's not... This is solo duel. This is a battle. A group of pirates from the local pirate organization have issued a direct challenge against your company. Oh, wait. They're spotting high-end mechs. Wait, are, are we... Are we playing like a... This is pirate, but... Yeah! absolutely freaking lootly Let's get the money. See what they bring. Oh, this is a... This is a free fall. No, not free fall. It's a team fight. It's just basically a team fight. I like it. So, we have Terra Bird on the Kintaro. She's ex-military and she has uh, the... The focus fire trait. So, the recoil of our... Uh, pirate rocket launcher shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Was it recoil? As a recoil of one and a 15% jam chance. Okay. So that's fine. Is this our team? I don't think so. I really feel like Vishla wants to come back to the squad. Commander, brave officer, has almost gotten to 20 affinity on a waka. That's the thing that I'm looking at here. And she's really, really good in terms of skill points. Evasion generation is great on the gorilla. Hmm. This is not easy. I think Lefay is gonna step aside and we're gonna bring Vishla back. And she's the bandit. And this guy was about... Oh no, we need focus fire here. Do we? Hold up. Yeah, we need the military, ex-military stuff. Um, there's another Waka. Which is also running autocannons. You're not even good with this anymore. Uh. Okay, how do we do it? I think we're gonna just swap you. And we're fine. Alright. Let's go ahead and deploy. 
Okay, guys, here we go. I kind of hope that they don't have any supports or any reinforcements or whatever. They're on the other side. Oh, man. I don't want to cross terrain, that's the thing. I don't want to cross the river, that's that's my problem here. Also, starting in the low ground is kind of bad. Also, why are we not able to get over here? Uh, My drop is extremely limited. I think there's enemies here. Ugh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, we have reinforcements of some sort, huh? All right, then. I'm going to start here. Far, far away. Because I don't want to be wedged between enemies. Aha! I see you. And they have a Black Knight, Red Reaper. <laughs> and Ravager Protomax. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is scary. Scary and good? Question mark? Oh, the Ravagers, they're gonna be a... Yeah, they're gonna be a problem. They don't have that much armor. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so Kentaro is now jump capable, and that's the thing that we completely utilize here. Use the sensors with searchlight. Thank you very much. Brace. Is this the only two fi uh, dudes that we are fighting? I really feel that there is something like reinforcement somewhere. Move. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, reinforcements are here. Oh, yeah, this is a challenge. I was looking for a challenge, and I'm getting it, baby. Uh, let's jump down here. All right, we got seven evasion. Mm-hmm. Looking good. It's a move for five and a brace. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Don't kill me. Okay, let's turn on this. Shadowcat is taking 9 damage. That's alright. We somehow need to get the Red Reaper down and quickly. Ideally destroying his shield arm. Not the shield arm, but the, the weapon arm first. Ooh, you are currently... Yeah, I, I'm very dug in. I'm very defensive right now, so I'm gonna keep that for a second. And yeah, starting here was the absolute right call. Come on. Red Reaper, do your thing. W what is it that you're doing, huh? Rocking it up! Yeah, baby. Okay, the ballistic is jammed. That's great. I... Ooh, do I take the battle armor first? I could. Alright, let's go with it. Let's take an enemy out that I can take out with the machine guns. I mean, these are perfectly fine for that. Basically made for it. Okay. LBX laser also very good against machine gunning. Uh, yeah, very good at machine gunning against the battle armor. Where to go, though? Where to go? Six sprint. It's not the greatest hit chance in the world. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the stuff I can actually hit. Alright. I'm even shooting the rockets. We shoot twice with the ultra. Good. Ooh. Good chunks of stability damage. More ultras. Into the forest we go. Hell yeah. 40%. 47. Why so low? ECM shield. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, cool. That's a full-on miss. All right. Um, so if I get close, I'm getting ECM scrambled, huh? Are, are you Protomax or are you Battle Armor? You're Protomax. So you cannot swarm attack. This is the thing that I'm I'm afraid of. Um. Yeah, and we go. Let's use the Kintaro, and we're gonna shoot some EMP against the guy, trying to scramble him. The taser as well, the bolt on rockets. Actually, as a decoy to intercept his AMS, we're gonna do it in this order. Let's see. So, we got some damage in. He's also unsteady. We have 15 heat on him. Okay. These have, like, little rotaries? Or what? Or ultra ultra rifles or something? That's cool. That's cool as hell. 
Yeah, it is a chance to hit these little guys, but you know what? We have a better chance on hitting the Reaper. And I think we're gonna use that opportunity right now. Tag him. Yeah. It's not a lot, but his center doesn't look great anymore. Oh, I'm torn. I'm torn going for the battle armor or the protomax. But I think we have a target in sight and we're gonna go for it now. Alright, he's open. Cool. Very good. Now what? What's your initiative, by the way? 13. Kintaro is 12. No. And the other Waka is 11, so he's gonna take another turn. Crap, I tried... I really wanted to knock him down. Okay, so let's see what our Mag Pulse is actually giving him. Ah? Uh? Alright. It didn't shoot everything. Also missed. That means we can... Yeah, what do we do? Go for a kick? This is funny. Wait. No. So if we kick, we get all of our weapons out as well. But again, I don't want to attack the shield side. I want to attack the... the other side. No! This is not a kick. This is not a melee attack. We're gonna move around a little. Eh. I want to get evasion. Move for four. Okay, let's take it. Four is fine. And I th Ooh. What do we do now? I think I want to drop some more EMP on him. Getting the crits instead of destroying the whole thing? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no? We have a lot of EMP on the guy. But hey. Brigand coming in as well. So, I feel that means we're gonna... We're gonna full-on attack him now. AMS, baby. Alright, so the Shadow Cat has a chance to take him down. After that, he's gonna act once more and he might just go for a melee attack. It's also a thing that I need to keep in mind. He has that huge sword in his hand. That's fine. I don't think that these little guys can do a lot against us. So, toast. Uh, huh? Yeah, I guess. Just move and shoot and hit him. Machine guns for the win. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, <laughs> we got a crit on a gyro that makes him slower and unsteady. Uh-huh. Still fast enough for that. Cool. We survived. The Red Reaper still online. Yukiana. Okay, Yuki. You're ready? Let's do it. I mean, rockets make no sense here. I'll shoot everything! I want him off the battlefield. Now! Crit on the heatsink kit. Yeah, it's good. That's an assassin. Totally, totally doable. What he has, I think, was an autocannon 2 or something. Nothing really major happened. Okay, then. Okay. We go for the kick. Do I shoot my EMP or do I shoot something else? His heatsink kit is crit, so Inferno would be also a great idea. Let's go with that. Kick him. Miss him. Eh? All right, but here come the missiles. Crit, 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 down with you. All right, so that's a lot of salvage. A lot of salvage. We have no real salvage rights, I know, but still, it's cool. Kicked a little once. Yeah, sure. Ah, it's a miss. <laughs> It's okay. I should probably respect him a bit more. My streak hits. Okay. So, um, the Shadow Cat. Should we also try to go for a melee attack with the Shadow Cat? We could try it. It's only a punch here. We need a kick. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, man. I just want these guys off the battlefield so I can concentrate on the other dudes. 
Machine guns are still doing the works. One down. Okay. Looking good. Looking very good. Okay. So we're gonna keep the Ultra Auto Cannon silent for a second because I wanna just go in with the LB axis. Nice, another one down. Okay, and we're cooling, we're getting out of our recoil situation and so on. These uh, heavy rifles deal 12 damage though. It's it's nothing major, but also nothing to be ignored. What else we got? Got a kick. Got a kick for... What was that? 43? I don't want to. I mean, I want to, but I don't want to. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's awkward. Okay, let's stabilize ourselves and get some... Yeah, Inferno. He's already hot. Ta-da! Overheating the fire starter. How ironic. Good. Ah, uh, we got hit by the Auto Cannon 5. The Rotary Auto Cannon 5 earlier. On the right arm. Gotta make sure that we are not losing that. Pathetic! That's what you call a machine gun barrage? <laughs> I'm gonna show you a machine gun barrage. Later. Later. So here we go. Ultra auto cannons. Yeah, absolutely. Going for the stuff that we can hit so we can get out of this mission and maybe even play another one. Looking at the time right now, eh, that's possible. Totally possible. Terror bird. Go kick. I hate the fire. I mean, I know, I dropped it. Alright, let's stay here. What if I go for just good old damage? Dead fire. Then we don't hit anything. Good. Good, good, good. Unsteady. The assassin is just trying to scoot around. Actually, good hit. So, turn uh, 16 is gonna be interesting. Oh, and then 15 is gonna be the battle armor again. If we don't do anything about it. Alright. Go for the starter. Alright, we didn't quite get him, but the fall damage might be enough. We'll see. We have 12 structure on the center torso. Let him fall. No. No. Interesting. Okay. Try to take out the little ones now. I'll even shoot my rockets. It's fine. Alright, another one down. Cool, cool. So, each unit is running two rifles. Interesting, cool. Yeah, I think I think this is the moment where we just stabilize ourselves, move around and just shoot machine guns into the Ravagers so that they are down. And then we can deal with the mechs to come. Really good. A Red Reaper, man. And the good thing is that we also negotiated for, I think, 1.9 million seabills or something like that. That's amazing. That's so much money. We're gonna swim in money. We can build the Waka with an XL engine. And then... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. In we go. We're gonna take the fire starter, which is good old standard ammo. We don't need a lot here. Two missiles need to hit center. And we'd be fine. Taser rifle. Has it done a thing at all? I really think I need to get back to the floaties. I really don't like this whole uh, combat lock situation. It's just not my thing. I need immediate response and feedback. Okay, in we go. There's the brigand. I think I'm not gonna shoot him. Instead, I'm gonna brace it up. Oh, they have a raven. Is it Polly? I think it is. I think it is Polly. Uh-oh. Polly the Raven. This thing is dangerous. Uh, let's, let's reinforce. 
Get down here. Cool down. Very important before we go for the next engagement. And I should not put the Shadow Cat too much in harm's way. Not alone, at the very least. Brigand. What was that? Shot some missiles at us. Kind of weird. Here come the Ultra 5s. 31. 34. And eh, I guess we go for the Brigand. Ooh. We even got the missiles out of that. Perfect. Ah, uh, it's not perfect. <laughs> yeah, the, the bane of the close ranger. Can I take it back? I want to jump now. Ugh, all right, fine. Uh, shoot the narc. Nothing. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, man, our brawler. Our brawler. It needs to be in, like, in nominal range all the time. Otherwise, it's not doing anything. I like the, the versatility of the mech. Being able to overheat, finally. And wait, don't we have a plasma cannon? Could we make it like all overheaty? Um, that's fine. That's a bit of damage. Was kind of hoping to hit the ultra auto cannon, obviously, but no. 15 damage, so auto cannon 2. Alright, Toast. What you gonna do? Let's go for the brigand. He's almost dead there. We did it. All right, Brigand down. Who else is here? Uh, I think it's just the Raven and the Assassin now. Destroy enemy units, 33%. That is a big indicator for it. So let's... Shall we push it? Actually, let the Raven come to us. Uh-huh. You, you, you're afraid, huh, buddy? And this is why we need sensor lock. This guy is also guarded with shielded uh, stealth and stuff like that. So, yeah. Trying to get the snapshots out. It's a big no-no. What else we got? Got the LBXs and the rockets. I'm basically just fishing for any kind of hit. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there eventually. And... Wait. Does the Shadowcat have ECM? I don't think we put a, a Warfare Suite in it. Somebody is able to ping. Might be one of our whackers. Okay, Shadow Cat is getting worn down. Yeah, we have a mask and an active angel ECM. Um, I think we're gonna hold again. Let the raven do its thing. Yeah, 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 it hurts. We're narked. Tagged, actually. So, Waka to the front. And we're gonna still try to hit the Raven. No missiles. The bane of the... of the street launcher. Do I really want to get in there? That's my question that I have right now. Let me see what I can do with the Long Rangers. Gotta jump to get closer. Actually, yes. The 13% chance is takeable. Great, we have a narc attached to him. Oh, this is helpful. This is really helpful. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's enable the mask so I can get as close as possible. Generate more evasion and get cover. Zabap. And now we have 77% chance here. Oh. Eat my missiles! Right. Oh, he's unsteady as well. Yes, baby. That was good. We got very lucky there. Let's go. Yeah, you could say that the Raven is basically down. He's down to a tag or something. It was a dagger, not Polly. It was a dagger. Interesting. All right, guys. Last guy is the assassin. That's a headshot. We didn't need that, but all right, I accept. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ultra auto cannon, 25%. Sure. It's a one in four twice. And we both missed. The jam chance is also a huge problem. Man, we need we need better pilots and equipment. Here come the ultras. 
One hit on the leg. Toast. Where to go, Toast? Where to go? Really want to twist to the left, if anything, correct? And yes, I keep the mask on. I know that there's a 10% chance to fail. I want to stay in motion. Here we go. Great hit on the leg. We have destroyed his lower leg. So a bit of impairment there. This is basically nothing. This is a bit better than nothing. Let's go. Let's go vigilant. Try to narc him. We didn't narc him, but we lit everything on fire around him. Hum, 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 hum. How do we do this? Uh, sh 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 Chronic is bleeding out, by the way. Yeah. I realize. Let me... Let me hold here. Yeah, I know you're bleeding out. As long as I don't activate you, nothing is gonna happen. Maybe we can settle it beforehand. God, this is so garbage. <laughs> we gotta get closer. All right, auto cannon unjammed. All right, I'm gonna disable the mask here. Come on, off. Thank you. We're gonna jump away. Uh, oh, and then we need to brace. So next round we can uh, we can start doing first aid. Cool. So fast waka is gonna follow. All right, no missiles. That's okay. I need him to come closer. That's it. <laughs> it's just it. Cannot hunt you down through the jungle. He's playing hit and run, which is smart. It's what an assassin should do. Yes, he's getting through the spore cloud as well. Uh, difficulty to hit increases now. But so is his damage taken. Any flanking? No. No flanking. All right, let's use the Kintaro first, because we can possibly get the Narc on. So, Terror Bird. But by the way, guys, you said uh, that my company name is wrong. I'm missing an R there, so I hope that I can remember to actually check this out. Um, I'm gonna go with One Inferno. For the sake of the fire around him. Yeah, let's go first aid. Move around. Ultra auto cannons. Hey, that's a solid three hits. Ooh, that was good. That was really good. Side attack. All right, so we got... <sighs> we got this. Actually hitting. Oh, baby, that's exactly what I was looking for. Nice. And he's running again. Hit and run, hit and run. Yeah, we can only hit him from the back. I don't care about my own defense anymore. I think I'm gonna just stand and shoot. For accuracy's sake. I don't think he can kill me, that's the thing. So, Chronic, still bleeding out, huh? Man, you would be the greatest guy to hunt him down. But I think I'm gonna just go first aid. In we go. Sure. Every point of damage helps. That was 21, and he's stressed, which gives us a higher hit chance against him. 4% on the narc. Again, I think I'm gonna stand and shoot here. 9 damage! I'll take it. It's good. It is good. Come on, last dude. Why won't you die? Terra Bird again. Nah, it doesn't make any sense. He needs to turn around and come to us again. It's not towards us. Got it entrenched. Ugh. Okay. Hunt him! He's not gonna get away. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna try to sprint and intercept. If we have to burn the whole freaking forest down, I'm gonna do it. Great. I have a thing in mind. But let me take Yuki on up first. 
Let's go. Hey, 40. Oh, 40%. I'll shoot everything. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Perfect. Okay. So I was actually willing to go in with Chronic and try to hunt down the guy. He had five rounds for the bleed out. We could have maybe used first aid every now and then in between. But hey, we got him in the end. There was no need for it. Let's get out of here and get some sweet, sweet salvage. Oh my god. Totally worth the mission. Absolutely. Although it was a little bit lengthy in the end. Uh, I really enjoyed this. That was great. Two million sea bills. That alone is fantastic. Uh-huh. All right. He hear me out. They want... One part of an assassin, one part of the dagger, one part of a fire starter, one part of a ravage, and I would get all of these things. Six warfare suites, six guardian ECMs, sensor range times eight, five narc launchers, <laughs> fire control system standard, lots of heat sinks. I'll take it. I'll accept. This is fine. We have so many narcs now. Double narc. It's the new meta. Narc and tag is fantastic. I'm half tempted to take this for the Kentaro so it can narc and tag. Um, Guardian ECM, sure. La, 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 la. They are the Warfare Suites. The Brigand. The Predator. Oh. That is fantastic. We are still lacking good fire control systems, and this is good. Two accuracy, one at medium range, sure. Uh, but night vision as well. And then obviously there's the Black Knight. So let's see what's in here. We have a sheath beacon, the AR-12 beacon. It's good. It's a very good item. I think I should actually take that. Engine is down. There's a risk rotary 5. There's a 7-ton vibro sword. Tandem rockets. There's double bin ammo for the rock. Streak LRM-5. Oh, streak MML-5. Okay. Uh, a snub nose PPC is good. An advanced AMS is good. Good. It's very heavy, though. It's three tons. So, I mean, we disassemble him. <laughs> There's no way to pick this guy. We have one and four total. Um, I, I'm torn between the beacon. That's good. Gives you a lot of defense. The beacon or, honestly, even the Vibro Sword or the... Predator fire control system. And I think I'm gonna opt for the Predator if I can find it. Yeah, I'll take it. It's good. Ta-da! Ooh! Interesting. So we got the sword as well. And what we also did get is high explosive narc ammo. So whenever we don't want to light the beacons and call Gondor for aid, um... We can do damage. It deals direct, 10 damage directly to internals. Huh. Alright. Alright. Mm, why not? Why not? It's a bit of extra, extra oomph in case we just want to bring somebody down and if we have a good hit chance already. So there's that. Um, ideally, we have a second narc though. That would be fantastic. Double narc. Again. As soon as we can deal damage with a narc, it is, uh, it's getting viable. And we have more hit chances to actually attach the beacons then. Mm. It's an argument for it. It's also heavy. Narc is, what is it, two, two tons? So having another one is actually an investment. But anyways, we're here now. Um, and by the way, our whole idea of um, taser and SRMs totally worked. So we basically added another weapon on the mech. Steel Viper, Clan Coyote. Oh, the clans, the clans. It says Tarot, tarot Birds Talons. You are absolutely right, man. Let me go ahead and change that. Oh my god. Okay. Wait for it. Terror Bird. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, also, why are we red now? We should be blue, yellow, and white. Alright, it's fine. So, um... The next mission is gonna be a hashtag a quick mission, and we have a duel here. It's a solo duel. Who do we want to bring for that? We have a bunch of options. We have our Chameleon Ultra 5 Wacker, or we 
could bring the Kentaro, or we could even bring the Shadow Cat as a mobile skirmisher. But I think, honestly, the Kentaro is the best bet currently. Hold up here, because I want to add the Predator Fire Control System to the Kentaro. Thanks to the mobility that we get uh, from the jump jets, we can also just get into position early and then just, you know, move, move around, take cover, brace, and then unleash when we are ready to go. So, fire control system. Predator. It's basically, yeah, it's way more accuracy. Absolutely. Good. That being said, we ready to go? Want to change anything here? I think I'm going to drop the dead fire for the narc, the narc bonus. Will I? Will I run out of ammo then? I need to check this narc ammo again. One sec. Narc explosive. 25 damage. Nah, eh, it's fine. And then 10 damage directly to internal, so 35. And 10 stability damage. It has a 200% bonus to crits. I think it's not good enough. I'd rather have more raw SRM DPS or DPR damage per round. The Narc is currently my, my tool more than a weapon. All right, then. We wait for Terra Bird to come back. Ready to go, guys. Let's do it. We have 3 million C bills, which means we should also upgrade the Argo a little bit more. That's the thing that I was sleeping on. What are you? It's just a different faction, huh? Okay. Training day. Training day pays well. I don't like training day in general. But anyways, we are here for the duel. I think we're gonna go with money, mostly. Playing for the pirates again. <laughs> nice. All right. And this is gonna be my setup. You go over here, we'll bring the Kentaro. I'll take the Kentaro specifically here because it has the ability to shut enemies down with EMP and stuff. So I, I think if we can control the enemy, we have easy game. So we go in like that. In we go. Let's do it, guys. So my, my goal is to, again, jump around a lot, get cover, get guarded states, and then we're gonna try to get as close as possible. Oh, that's a quad mech, right? No, it's not. It's a Viper. A Ballistic Viper. All right. Good old Viper F. Ah, huh? huh? Is it? What are you up to? Mmm, laser beams. I see, I see. Tasty. But you know what I got? I got missiles. Let's... Yeah, let's actually sprint in already. And give him a little bit of hell. Why not? Acid? No, I think I'm gonna go EMP on this. Mess with the sensors. Give him some heat. And honestly, a good amount of damage and stability as well. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's the machine gun viper. All right. All right. Oh, but you know what? I think we've already won. Yeah, look at this. Hell yeah. I'm going to play with him a little bit because I'm here for some salvage as well. Mm hmm. That's a direct shutdown. Alright. He just started up again. Um. Sure. Let's just do that. All the EMPs in the world. Cool. What now? Oh, he's running! He is running, and that for a good reason. But, buddy, you cannot escape the EMP Kintaro. Should I have maybe gone Inferno here? Uh-huh. What you doing now, buddy? What you doing now? Oh, I'm rude. But I'm, I'm giving these people who are watching on the home television receivers a good show. That's for real. Let's do it. And there we go. Yeah, we destroyed the engine, which is a thing that we could have taken, possibly. But you know what? 
I'm I'm here. I'm here for the other things as well. All right. That was a fun fight. Yeah, I think our Kentaro is a very good dual mech because of all of its um, shutdown shenanigans that it can throw out there. There could be there could be more. There could be always more. Um, for example, if you have let me say a uh, Stormcrow, for example, this thing is also a very good SRM uh, brawler mech. It can just run more SRMs. That's the thing. It has more hard points for it. Cool. 700,000 C bills added to my 3.3 million. And we're gonna pick one good thing here. What's the thing gonna be? Ear medium lasers. Could be. Clan Endo? Clan Endo is the best we can get. Yeah, it's fantastic. That's just it. Let's go. So, we get half a ton of machine gun ammo combined with a clan heavy machine gun. Yeah, I mean, our Shadow Cat is doing a similar thing, right? Heavy machine guns are even better than regular machine guns. They deal more damage. But we only have one of these. So, if, if anything, I want to boat them. And currently, I have a good chunk of just regular machine gun stuff with the, with the regulars and the duels and so on. So, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Alrighty then. So, guys, I would say that concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.